All right, my YouTube community. What is up, guys? So this is actually a follow-up order on my Provident Meadows. If you remember a couple of uh, videos back, I had purchased a five-ounce um, you know, um, uh, BU condition quarter. It was the 2020 um, National Park, the S Samoa one, with, with the bats on the back. And it was... Uh, it came in pretty poor quality. It had scratches, some milk spots, some tarnishes. And after weeks, it's been two weeks it took for me to finally get Provident Metals to actually email me back with customer service. After I, I posted emails um, once every two days, I also posted a really bad review on their website. And then it wasn't until I after after I posted the bad review on their website that they actually, um, they finally got back to me. And I thought it was pretty sad because the whole time that I was trying to email customer service, the only emails I was getting back from them were promotions and sales and stuff like this. Now, if I have an issue with your company, I obviously don't want to know what sales you got going on. So then after finally getting to their website, and posting a really bad review, I finally got a customer service reply back. Um, nothing personal about the customer service lady or guy or whatever, whoever I was talking to. They were very nice. I understand that it's not them. It's, it's the company itself. But um, they gave me they gave me two options. And I was really unhappy with these two options. Either I could wait on top of the already two to three weeks I was waiting to get a reply from them. Then I would have to wait for them to ship me back a, a, a shipping label. And then from the shipping label, I would then have to ship my coin all the way back to them. And then wait however much longer. And then we had the riots going on. And I hope everybody was safe during that. But I would have had to have wait that whole time for the post office to then bring me back my coin. So, of course, I took the second option, which was a $5 coupon code. Now, come on, guys. I spent $125 on a 5-ounce coin, which is pretty heavy premium. I like the coin, but all you could do for me is either wait, make me wait for that time or give me $5 off. But, of course, I took $5 off. I didn't feel like dealing with the hassle, so I took the five dollars off, and this is my last order from from Provident Metals that I will ever be doing. Um, I just didn't like the how long it took for me to get customer service back. I didn't, I, I just, I didn't appreciate any of it. So that's just my personal standpoint. But I wanted to show you guys what I got with these five dollars off. So this is paper. Once again, this is Provident Metals, and they also own JM Bullion. Please make your guys' own personal problems. Like, don't don't not buy from them just because of what I'm saying. But I am very curious to see how you guys feel about Provident Metals and JM Bullions. If you guys had these same issues, I would like to know. I, I would like to compare our stories. So, so please put those down in the comments. But anyways, without no further ado, let's get to this and get into these pieces of silver now silver prices are still pretty choppy I'm gonna grab my paper out of here silver prices are still pretty choppy so I will not be purchasing I mean um I, I, I went and tried to get with the five dollar coupon I tried to get as low money as I could so I purchased all second hand secondary market silver but it seems here like as usual Sorry for you guys. I, I'm trying to get you guys some new stuff and some some more different pieces that you guys haven't seen before. Well, look at this wrapping. Like, look at you see how they did this. That's ah. so first from them doing this way too. But I ordered five of these and I got five. They were supposed to all be second. Okay, so I got. One different piece. So, all right, here we go. This is pretty cool. So, like I said, I purchased secondary, secondhand market. But these all actually seem to be brand new. So I'm not. I do. I do give that. Sorry, sorry for my nail, guys. That's uh, I, 
kind of shoved a um, screwdriver in there doing some some handiwork the other the other day. So the nails are all screwed up. I know it looks pretty gross, but I, I ordered a bunch of these from the second secondary market, and they actually they look pretty new. So that I'm not too mad about. So we go. We got that one, and then here's another one, the exact same. Also looks pretty new. And these are just generic rounds. Uh, so they were supposed to be second secondary market. That's why I don't got no gloves on. Let's put this one on the back so you can look at it from the back side too. So we got the buffalo there. United States of America. One ounce, 999 fine silver. So that's the back or the obverse of the Indian head. And you've seen this tons of times, if not through my video, but you've probably seen it through other people's videos. So I'm not trying to waste too much of your time with these coins. But we got four of these, but please stay tuned to the end so we can look at this fifth coin. This fifth coin is going to be a coin I have not shown on my channel yet, so you guys are going to want to stay tuned for that. If you haven't been checking all that stuff out. Here we go, another one. And for secondary market, um, I'm actually very satisfied, but as the company as a whole, I, I personally won't be purchasing from them. And please let me know how you feel about it, too, in the comments. And here we go, guys. This is another one for the collection. I have not had a, have one yet. And this one's looking pretty cool, man. I've never seen one of these before, and I believe it's also... An Indian head, but please let me know if you've seen this. I'm going to research this. And comment down below if I if I find anything. But check this thing out. This is the year 2013. It's got a beautiful Indian art right there. 2013 Liberty. And then on the back, it's once again a buffalo. One troy ounce, 999 fine silver. I don't see any money value to this. So it's not feasible coin. So it's definitely a round. I've never seen one of these yet before. So I'm definitely going to look it up. And if you have any information about it, please also let me know. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, if you guys like what you're seeing, please like and subscribe. And also, don't forget to click those links down below to get yourself some free stocks in this stock market and get financially powerful.